Wait, what's that? No way. I'll talk to you, but don't drug me. Just stop taking my blood. I like my blood in my body. Yeah. Fucking vampires? Fucking hell. I don't even know why I took my blood. I probably found out. I had some more tweets. <laughs> yeah. It was like, maybe it was day one. I don't know. Maybe it was day one. I don't remember the last time I was over there. I had weed pills in Rostol. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I know. Yeah, when I came back, my brother's weed pills were gone and Rostol. Yeah. Real nice lady. Right? So did you blame me? For yelling at her? Yeah. No. Especially when she was mouthing off to my cat. Which I won't accept that he did it to all my cats when I was young. And now I'm big enough to tell him, no, you're not going to do it anymore. My mother, I probably never heard him do it. And I did. I would wake up and hear him yell at cats like there were fucking problems. Like there were bad things. Him? He's a fucking dog. You know? You know what cats are? Let me explain cats to you. They're non-sexual beings. They're not, dude, I'm telling you, this is serious. Dogs, men are dogs. Women, they're dogs too. Cats are different. Cats don't have anything. If they do, it's an experiment. It's just how they came out. They look like that. They don't even do it, man. I'm fucking, I got lucky. I was screwing a sister. I walked in on him. How is he going to get that little thing <laughs> inside her? Come on. It was funny to see that because I, I never saw this, man. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like he's on top of his head on a chair over there and, uh, what was that what was that uh, whatever that was. Uh, back behind the 7-Eleven over there over there I couldn't believe I just walked down the hall and it was in the dark that he was doing and she was on a chair like a computer chair and he was on top of her like he looked like he was getting it on her and she was like <laughs> I, I turned on the light it was very strange to see him there when it, they just showed up and that was the position it was right behind her the only way they were getting on but I mean lucky <laughs> I guess that is lucky. You ain't gotta worry about getting in there. <laughs> He's just not gonna get there. I mean, come on. <laughs> They're non-sexual beings, man. Cats, you can't fix them. Just keep them alive. And cats, kill the dogs. Keep the humans alive. The actual dogs are trying to eat us. That's what the cat is here for. Dude, I'm telling you. I, I noticed. My cat does not let dogs by me. I don't know why. I haven't seen a dog very close to me. Because my cat's eating me. And what are you gonna do? Dude, they always have done it. The cats, they kick the dog's ass. And I keep them around. Because the dogs like you, fucking bite you, fucking scratch you. Always wanna get a walk. <laughs> fucking useless animal that is. You want something that they have to take care of that hurts them all the time because they have to walk out. Cats? Well, my cat is a girl. From what I heard from a veterinarian. The belly. They say he fixed her. You gotta shave her belly. <laughs> I couldn't believe she showed up at a little spot on her belly. I was like, how did that fix her? <laughs> I'm like, there's a fucking dog. I think they did not do it because she doesn't have anything. Some of them, they're just like that. Like I said, my cat's a girl. Because my vet said cat is a girl. Yeah, that's what my mom told me. She is a girl. I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> and the vet's a girl. <laughs> uh, cat's too much. Uh, my mom used to say, she thinks she's a he or something. <laughs> yeah. She thinks she's a boy. Yeah. She thought she was a boy, this cat. She did. But she didn't have anything at all. <laughs> that was the joke. I was like, this cat is nothing. And some cats have it. She's immortal. I'm immortal. We win. You're going to try to kill me? I'm going to stay here. You really want to kill me? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Because <laughs> that's how I stay immortal. By not threatening you. Him, he's got to go. He threatened me. See how this works? I get on camera. I bullshit. People are walking around me. I can interact with them. It's a show. It's a Zach show, as I would call it. Unfortunately, I haven't had much time to run the show since I've been here. And up there, well, there's some beginnings to the Zach show. That's a good word. Joke box popped up over there. What's <laughs> that word? <laughs> joke box. I actually found a knife. I wrote it on there. And the joke box came from a, a notebook that I found. And, uh, well, I opened it up. And I, I don't know put, who put it together for me, actually. A few uh, pictures, you no, know, little things. Trink I wouldn't call them trinkets. There were more pictures and actually, like, uh, index cards is actually the funniest part of it. But there were two things I remember the most that came out of the joke box where I wrote joke box on that notebook. It was a white notebook. And, uh, well, the first two things, they had a little folder in the front. I can really remember. But there was a, yeah. There's a little hens and chicks, yeah, hens and chicks, I'll tell the story. Hens and chicks. Apparently, we were growing peyote up there. <laughs> yeah, peyote, man, that's what hens and chicks were, didn't you know? 
<laughs> I was calling him that. I was, I was in that room because I pulled up a picture. And it, it's funny now. My brother and I are sitting there with a banjo and a guitar or whatever, whatever we're playing that day. And very, she and I snapped a picture of us. And right in the middle between us was hands and chicks on a fucking table. We, we looked like we're playing. I knew we weren't even playing a song. Because <laughs> I was there and he was there. He was just like sitting there with the thing. We better play the thing. <laughs> it's funny. But we supposed for the picture. And we looked like we were playing because we were hands there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy cracked me up. And the other thing that cracked me up was the hands and chicks right between us. And I was looking at it. I was like, that's hands and chicks. I think that's peony. <laughs> uh, at that point, I didn't know where any hands and chicks were. <laughs> I was like, oh, my life, that was round. I never got to do the peony. <laughs> the dang. Ryan, the peony. <laughs> Ew, Ryan. Because <laughs> my brother was in the picture. It was funny, so. <laughs> I wrote it on a fucking an envelope for some reason. So it's gonna turn into a song. I might have even used it as a song title or something. Ryan the Payo, Payo Ryan. Oh yeah, it was supposed to be in this, actually. I think I never did that. I never got those songs. I had enough time because God came in with fucking days real soon. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking crazy. I was trying to have fun, and uh, well, it sounded like I was coming at him the whole time. Uh, no, I had Taser at the end. And see, I come right. See how this shit can sneak up on you. But if I have a tape roll. And uh, I'm just talking. I paid my rent. Why does my landlord have a possibility to hurt me right now? Because I've proven he can hurt me. Why? Yeah, but he's misled. Just like I said, I know she said he's on dope. You can check my blood, man. I don't do it. She does. I know she does. I heard it from him. Pretty sure she's hiding outside. Pretty sure she's got it right. You know what I mean? This is what happens. He lies, but she lies. I don't want to cause many problems, but the center and fucking get him out. He doesn't deserve a house. Him, shelter, I'll put him in a box. And with the other guy that raped me and tell him who raped me. And then send each one of them and see who comes out with each fucking spinoff. See what they can figure out with that. Because apparently, he didn't go and search. Find out where I was raped, but he knew where they brought me. So how am I going to get him to go back there and bring me there to take care of things? I was in the back of the ambulance on the way there. I was in the back of the ambulance on the way out. I don't know where it went. I didn't even know where he picked me up. All I know is it started a while. I'm scared of that place. It was crazy, man. They had me on all kinds of drugs for no reason, really. Because the idea it was, it was drawn at me. Whatever happened there, they were playing with them dot eyes, yeah. And I forgot about them right away. I did. When I went to the fucking police, I was like, holy shit, why am I talking to the police? Send me down to Mill Creek and fucking, what was that Mill Creek even doing there on the side of the fucking Wawa? Uh, why was there an empty Mill Crate for me to sit on and be interrogated by police and then throw one in an ambulance? It was just sitting there on the side of the store. There was no door there. What is that, their fucking booth for fucking throwing you in an ambulance when you're trying to go home? It wasn't the police, though, I could tell. That was weird because, well, there was one cop. That fall was there. The fall was cool. He was always cool. He was the one giving give me fist bumps. And even though he stopped giving me fist bumps, I could tell he, tell he still liked my jokes. But they were playing good cop, bad cop, but it wasn't that that was bugging me out. See, I could kind of tell that my mind had been boggled by the, the eye-to-eye scene that had just happened before, and I couldn't even remember. And I was trying to remember what it was. And so it was right after they sat me down. The eye I just ended right there. I tried to tell him, like, what over there? What over there? You see him? He's coming around. I tried to set him up to fucking stop their fucking contact. It was freaking me out. They were just walking around on the outskirts and working their way in, walking around. These guys were all around me. The two guys. And the other guy was gone by them. I forgot about him at all. But uh, it seemed like they were coming out, and the other one was actually one of them then. Yeah, it was very strange. I couldn't figure out where the, the tall guy was looking. The, yeah, the big guy. I think his tag said Ryan. He was bugging me out. He looked like from the Terminator, like the, 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 the fucking uh, the cop, man. It was funny as hell. And I was bugging out about it. I was calling him all kinds of names, being funny. And the fucking other guy was, he was giving me bumps because I was kind of ripping in his partner. But he had a notebook, actually. And it was bothering me because he was writing things down. And I couldn't see the notebook that he was writing things down on. And I asked him, what are you writing down? And he wouldn't tell me. He didn't say one word. He was freaking me out. Maybe he was just doing his job, but that was creepy. And I saw him another time over there at Wild Lines. He was, I don't know if he was putting somebody else in the ambulance. It looked like it. But that was freaky, man. And that cop kind of scared me because it, it really sent me his Terminator fucking movie thing where I think it happened at that that place. 
and it was the same scene I went through and I've seen it or something maybe or something happened where where there's actually a crash over here in one of them and like I don't know if that movie was filmed here it was like fucking right off the fucking screen right and you were living through it and then all of a sudden yeah I, I just noticed that at that point yeah and then they came with a tough buck right up right up close to me the Asian guy and his group I was like, like I was like where did you come from <laughs> What the hell are you doing for? That's the way I was thinking. I'm saying, like, yeah, you know, what's up? Why, why are you watching me, man? It's like, what is this? Why do you have a computer? Yeah, that's pretty much what that is. He didn't say one word to me either. I couldn't understand why these two cops were just all of a sudden monitoring me. Like, I wasn't even making calls to the monitoring place. And I still have been. I do a lot of monitoring. I was calling that place. And then I stopped for a little while. I called him back. I called the lady today. Because I needed to get my case together, I told her. I hope she's going through these tapes and not bothering with him because it's not in the jurisdiction, but I sent that down here. Because I've got more than enough evidence to take down seven police officers, at least it seemed, that work in the police department. And they fucking, they deserve to go down because they wouldn't take my complaints last night. And I was trying to get them to, and he told me I wasn't going to get it. Dude, I'm already at five grand. I'm done. Five grand a week. There were seven officers. You can send any more officers my way. And I'll work for five grand a week all year long. And they're still going to pay me five year, grand a week. As long as they don't hurt me. And I can help them be identified and turn them in to you. Co-workers that wear badges and have guns. You know, and you do the right thing. And listen to me because I'm telling you the truth. Well, then as long as that can happen, I'll turn everyone I can into you guys. All I have to do is call you. These cops that came here, I can't. I was borderline kind of crazy to the fact I have a tape somewhere at the, this two nights ago. This place. These cops came here, they put on a show for me. It was so hilarious, but they were the worst cops for the job at the time. <laughs> at the time, they were stressing me out, man. They really were, because I, I called in a death for it. It's, it's up there. They did not look at it, take it seriously. I uh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, so it made me nervous. They didn't read it. And uh, they looked at the screen and gave me like three seconds. And that's on. The, but, but the words are like, no, he didn't read them. He didn't read the transcript. They didn't even listen to the tape. Him and her wanted to shack up. <laughs> the cops said, yeah. it was boy cop, girl cop. I don't even think they had another car. But it was strange. It, the dispatch was weird. I don't like calling them guys. It was so weird. They called them twice, three times, and they haven't done anything here. Like, uh, like I'm a fucking fool or something. They're like, no, nah, I call you when I need to. I called you because you punched me, right? What was the next time I called you? The other night when I had a death threat against me, and you hear it on the internet, that's related to when she punched me. And then I sent a little link because they haven't done anything for me. I called them today, actually, to file a restraining order. If I, not to file a restraining order. I did a report. He broke the law, my landlord, my father. Yeah, he broke the law. And I found out right away he did the wrong thing. Because right now, I don't have a lock to keep him out of my bedroom. Or his friend, his guest, whatever it is. And that's illegal because he removed it. And I know it. And I don't know why he did it. But I had to call the cops. And I had the death threat right in front of him. They did the same thing again. They didn't look at the death threat. And then I wrote the report of what happened way back in April when his... Was it Little Girl? Yeah, gross guy. Uh, I can't believe he's around. Like, not in prison right now. I'm pretty sure they knew about him. My father being creepy. But he's just too creepy now. He's losing fucking all that he had uh, mentally. And I don't, I don't treat mental patients. I just know that he's a terrorist. From the way he's displayed himself, I don't think you're ever going to think I'm wrong. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to deal with the guy. I think he should go in jail. I think she should leave. Because, well, it's his place, right? Did he take the long call and allow her to get to me? Yeah, they gotta go, because I paid for him. Yeah. He's breaking the law right now, but she could be killing me right now. And I can't trust him, because I know he won't tell you he did it. If it was him, he'll pin it on her. <laughs>